I've never known anybody like you. You look at the world and you think you can make it better. Somebody's lost, you find him. Somebody's bleeding and yeah, you... Yeah, go get my daddy. That's really brave, like you said. 35 years ago, the premiere of the cult romantic drama Dirty Dancing took place. This film was created against what the big movie bosses wanted. Despite the lack of budget, and even the fact that the two main actors could not stand each other. Let's find out what happened to the actors of Dirty Dancing from 1987 and how their lives have changed. Francis Baby Houseman, 26-year-old Jennifer Grey, was chosen for the female lead because the producers fell in love with her from the first minute of the audition. She was so perfect for the role. A few days before the premiere of Dirty Dancing, the actress got into a terrible accident which is why she did not act for several years. And then she had rhinoplasty, and as she says, went into the operating room as a celebrity and came out as a no one. Her face has changed beyond recognition, and the former glory of Jennifer, who is now 62 years old, can only be remembered. Johnny Castle, the screenwriter of Dirty Dancing, chose as the performer of the male lead, actor Patrick Swayze, from a photo but for some reason he mentioned in his portfolio that he does not dance. The fact that Patrick is actually a dancer was revealed by chance, so he was immediately invited to the movie. At the time, he was 34 years old and it seemed that his career would last for a long time. However, after several successful movies, a hard struggle with alcoholism, depression, and then cancer began. In September 2009, Patrick Swayze died at the age of 57. Jake Hausman. Baby's father was played by 51-year-old Jerry Orbach. After filming Dirty Dancing, he got a role in the crime series Law & Order, to which he devoted 12 years. Sometimes he appeared on the big screen. In 2004, Orbach died of prostate cancer before he reached the age of 70. Marjorie Hausman. The role of the female lead's mother went to 40-year-old Kelly Bishop by accident. Another actress got sick, and Kelly, who had been originally cast as a rich guest trying to seduce Johnny, replaced her. After starring in the cult drama, Bishop's career skyrocketed, and in 2000 she received one of the main roles in the television series Gilmore Girls. Now the actress is 78 years old, and she continues to actively work. Penny. Johnny's partner on the threshold of his 30th birthday was played by Cynthia Rhodes. Previously, she starred in another dance movie hit, Flashdance, but Dirty Dancing became her penultimate project. Cynthia got married and devoted herself to raising three sons. Now she is 65 years old. Lisa Hausman. Baby's older sister was played by 28-year-old Jane Brucker. She dreamed of becoming a singer, but the episode where Lisa sings badly forever cemented the actress's reputation as a bad singer. Jane is the co-author of one of the songs from Dirty Dancing, which brought her more money than the acting fee. Since then, she has become a Hollywood screenwriter and is engaged in volunteering. This year, she celebrated her 64th birthday. Robbie Gold. The role of the dishonest waiter went to Max Kanner. He was 27 years old at the time of filming, and after Dirty Dancing, Max, having starred in several more films, took up journalism. He was preparing a report on the life of New York drug addicts, and while working, he got hooked on drugs. In 1992, at the age of 32, Max died of an overdose. Max Kellerman. The owner of the boarding house was played by Jack Weston. At the time of filming, he was already 62 years old, and all his most brilliant film work was behind him. In 1996, the actor died of cancer at the age of 71. Neil Kellerman. The role of Max Kellerman's grandson and baby's fan went to 27-year-old Lonnie Price. After the premiere of Dirty Dancing, he no longer acted, but became famous as a talented director. Now he is 63 years old. The success of Dirty Dancing is so impressive that people are still trying to remake this story over and over again. And a sequel with Jennifer Grey is scheduled to premiere in 2024. Do you think the future film will be able to get the audience's appreciation? 
If you like the video, leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything interesting.